Hey guys, what's happening? So, in one of my previous videos, I showed you my little linear rail standoffs right there. Between the linear rail and the uh, bed plate right there. Um, so what I decided to do is I decided just to make a whole kit. So I'm going to put a link down on Thingiverse where you actually have all the parts to actually make this happen. So it's actually going to have the pulley adjuster. I didn't design this part, but I'll put the uh, link so we can get it. I'll, I'll put it in the file so you have it, but I'll give the guy credit. I actually designed this thing, this uh, stepper motor, the Y-axis stepper motor plate right here. And also these uh, end stops because... Uh, you don't want the, uh, if the, if those things come off there, you're going to have ball bearings flying everywhere. So I wanted to make sure you weren't going to come off the rail, those stops. And also I created this, uh, turn my light on here. I also created the uh, belt tensioner or the belt mount that connects to the actual bed plate right there. The very bottom. With, uh, has basically M5 screws, or excuse me, M3 screws right here. Back. And the cable to tie downs and this is also a belt upgrade so I'm going from the stock six millimeter belt to a 10 millimeter belt so it's a much thicker belt one of the issues with these large um, y-axis is it's really hard to control ghosting because you're moving around so much weight hey there it is nice and tight big thick belt hopefully that's going to prevent some of the springiness of the smaller belt uh, and that's the lock see it's all nice and locked in there yeah then I have the little belt uh, grabs on the other side the opposite side so nice and tight nice and even all right let me show you the adjustable end stop here so I actually I'm running a Trinamic 2209 driver so I don't need end stop. I'm using central as humming. So, but I also, I, I created two holes in case you did. You could put one up there, like that. Like that. But really this is too, um, you can see that here, but that's that right there. So you use a couple M4 screws and that locks that down, but that's going to create a stop. So when that goes back, it's going to hit that. Create a stop right there. All right, so in the upgrade process, I decided to go from a 48 millimeter to a 68 millimeter stepper here. Let me show you that real fast. Yeah, it's a much thicker stepper. So I'm actually running Trinamic 2209 drivers. So it can do two amps and uh, a max of 2.8 amps. So um, that's one of the nice things about the 2209 is they can actually rate it at a higher current. So yeah, usually on the Y axis, like I said, that's where you have all the trouble, you know, with the control of ghosting so the bigger the better back here so and you need actually a driver that can actually handle the extra current so if you can't if your driver can't handle the extra current then there's no point in actually having the bigger stepper all right there is installed so one thing I've actually uh, learned over the years is that the uh, linear rails actually are more resistant or they actually provide more resistance than like linear rods so they're a little bit more hard to move back and forth so this hopefully will definitely help or improve uh, the Y all right, so I got everything going. Marlin updated and did some, so I hear that uh, squeaking. Do um, I'm actually running sensorless homing. But, um, you know, because I changed the kind of like the dynamics of the linear rails, the position, they have to kind of work themselves in again. So I might have to add some lube, but that's sensorless homing. Hear that? Squeak's coming from right there. I think it just needs to get worked in because it's probably rubbing against some plastic. Hey guys, that's it for this video. So linear rail conversion. We're already converted, but uh, the enhanced plates, the rear plate back there, all this I'll put down below on Thingiverse. So, all right, yeah, looking pretty good so far. So, awesome.